Good evening and welcome to our service of night prayer or Compline for the benefit of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter for Wednesday the 23rd of September 2020. My name is John Morrison and for the foreseeable future I'll be conducting morning and night prayer uh, for the benefits on Facebook on Wednesdays in support of our Rector, the Reverend Joe Richards. Today is an ember day and for those of you who weren't with me this morning or haven't uh, been able to read the Rector's daily briefing, ember days are quarterly periods of prayer and fasting in the liturgical calendar of the Western Christian churches. These fasts traditionally take place on Wednesday, Friday and Saturday following St Lucy's Day, the first Sunday in Lent, Pentecost and Holy Cross Day, though some areas follow a different pattern. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O oh, Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The refrain for Psalm 31, starting at the first verse, is, Into your hands I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, when scorn and shame besiege us and hope is veiled in grief, hold us in your wounded hands and make us and make your face shine on us again, for you are our Lord and God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen.
Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. The Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Gracious Lord, We thank you for the creation of this world that we live in. We thank you for the ability to enjoy life in, without fear of repression. We know that in this broken world, despite the coronavirus, we are privileged to be able to enjoy our Christian community and to be able to be of some benefit to the community. bringing your love to the hearts of the people around us, whether believers or not. We ask you, Lord, to keep us safe tonight. And we pray that all those whom we love are able to also enjoy the privilege of your creation and your love. And we ask this in the name of our Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God, who in generous mercy sent the Holy Spirit upon your church, in the burning fire of your love. Grant that your people may be fervent in the fellowship of the gospel, that always abiding in you, they may be found steadfast in faith and active in service. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, 
so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining in this benefit service of Night Prayer of Compline. The rector will be back with you tomorrow morning at nine o'clock for morning prayer. And she will also conduct a service of night prayer at six o'clock. Have a very safe night and look forward to the morning. Bye for now.